All right, welcome back to Five Minute Kerbal. We're just about to run out of this fuel tank here, so we will hit spacebar to stage. Hit spacebar again, but keep this at about one third throttle. Okay. Now to tell how high we're going to get, you see we're still climbing, 41, 42, 43 kilometers. We hit M to go to the map screen. All right, now the map screen works pretty much like most of the other screens. You can use the right mouse, right mouse button to uh, move around. Here we have our trajectory, this blue line here. Here we have our apoapsis. Our apoapsis is the furthest distance from the planet Kerbin. And it's not climbing very fast. We want it to get to about a thou or, uh, 100 kilometers. So we're going to throttle up to two thirds. Actually, we can go ahead and throttle up all the way. Okay. When you mouse over the apoapsis, you can see it. If you want to make it stay on the screen, you can just click on the little tag. My finger's on the X key to cut the engines. When I see 100 kilometers, I'm going to cut it. Boom. 100 kilometers. Now, in about a minute, this craft is going to coast up to 100 kilometers. What we want to do is we want to add a maneuver here. So you click on the blue circle, the blue line, and you'll see the retrograde and prograde vectors. This is what I was just talking about, this vector. We'll talk about it more later. You don't have to worry about it too much now because we're on a clock now, but just pull on that prograde vector. It'll create an orange line. That's the new path. Eventually, you will see a periapsis, which is the closest you're going to get to the planet Kerbin. And what you want to do is keep pulling on it until they start to swing around like that. You see how they swing around? That means that the apoapsis and periapsis are sort of coming into being the same. So we want to do it. So we got 97 kilometers by 102 kilometers. That's good enough. Now, if the blue marker, it's going to put a blue vector on your nav ball down here. If the blue marker is off the screen, then you'll see a blue arrow pointing the direction it is. Go ahead and line up with that blue marker. And then you're going to want to burn when it says halfway on one side of the T minus and halfway on the other side of the T minus. So a minute 15, that's going to be, uh, let's see, 35 seconds, 38 seconds on either side. So I need to burn right now. And I just throttled up. I'm in the map screen. You can still do that in the map screen. In fact, you will see our blue line starting to get larger here. Very slowly because this is a small engine. You can hit M to go back to space, the spacecraft in screen. And we are burning. We have to add about 1,100 meters per second worth of speed here. Remember, uh, orbiting is the art of falling towards the edge of the planet and missing. So as we're adding this speed here, the amount of speed we have to add, the delta V is decreasing. Once it gets towards the end, we can throttle back to get it more accurate, but this one's not terribly necessary to get it that accurate. Basically, any old orbit will do. So let's go back to the M for the map screen. And you can see we're T plus 12 now. We've got about 13 seconds left. You can see our blue line starting to, uh, we're going to give a get a periapsis here in a second. I'm going to start slowing down. I'm at two-thirds throttle. Okay, it's starting to spin, so I'm going to go down to one-third throttle. My blue marker is wandering off, but that's fine. And we're going to hit it, hit X right here and stop it. And this is our actual orbit. This is our path around the planet Kerbin. Um, this is 92 by 106 kilometers. That's good enough. So if you want to speed up time right now, we can go up to 90 times normal speed. You can see us speed around the planet. We can exit map mode right now, but you won't be able to see much because we're going into the dark side. The dark side of Kerbin. There's Minmus, one of the moons of Kerbin. Pretty soon we'll be coming around and you will see a nice sunrise. Let me slow down time. That's a beautiful sunrise right there. Sometimes this game is very pretty. Back in the map screen, here we are. You can see, just like out of the map screen you can see we're coming around to the light side and basically in order to get back to the surface of Kerbin all we've got to do is find our pro our retrograde vector so prograde is the direction we're going currently that's this one right here that looks like sort of a circle with three lines no X in the middle if you go around Directly opposite the, is the retrograde vector. Retrograde is the opposite direction from where you're going. If you want to get down to the surface, basically you just need to slow your speed down enough that the gravity of Kerbin grabs you and pulls you in. That's all it is. So we just find our retrograde vector and we just turn up the throttle a little bit. Maybe one-third throttle. 
pretty soon you will see this periapsis it's decreasing 40 30 kilometers 20 kilometers it'll go back inside the planet so it'll disappear and there we go hit X to shut us down and right now all we have to do is nothing and we will follow this trajectory back into the planet which I'll show you next time see you next time